This is an example of open pedagogy in, in a beautiful fashion, but in a way that also gives students not just agency, but allows them to engage in critical pedagogy, right? And critical pedagogy, of course, and I'm quoting Henry Giroux from McMaster over here, it asserts that students can engage their own learning from a position of agency. It takes seriously the educational imperative to encourage students to act on the knowledge, values, and social relations they acquire by being responsive to the deepest and most important problems of our times. And as we think about the deepest, most important problems of our times, we should be thinking about things like on our campuses, food insecurity, absolutely. But on a grander scale, of course, we can think about the sustainable development goals from the United Nations as well. So here's an example of an open, open pedagogy fellowship we, we've been running at KPU. I say we, but you know, I still feel some ownership over here. But we helped faculty members to design assignments which involved open pedagogy, where students would end up creating open resources that would each end up serving progress towards a specific sustainable development goal. Good example, you're seeing a collaborative assignment over here, faculty members from urban ecosystems, sustainable horticulture, anthropology from different institutions. They developed a project that focused on food insecurity. They mapped out the edible weeds on the different campuses of the different institutions, contributing to a, a scientific quality public database Lots of student skill development there, but you're actually addressing something that's a critical issue. It's beautiful, right? This is what education for me looks like at its finest. 